Hello, Grade 4 Learners! Welcome back to TV Escuela! I am Teacher Prodin Vera Ingilio Gloria from Tapia Elementary School, Montevista District. Today, let us learn something new and amazing in Mathematics 4. Find yourselves a comfortable place to sit. But before anything else, I want you to get your things ready. Please prepare your pen, paper, and your module in Math 4, Quarter 2, Module 1, Lesson 1. Are you now ready to learn? Well then, let's begin! At the end of this program, you will be able to Identify factors of a given number up to 100. Now, let us analyze this picture. How many rows of toy cars are there? You're right! Five rows! How many toy cars are there in each row? Absolutely! Three cars! How many toy cars are there in all? Yes, indeed! Fifteen cars! How did we come up with fifteen? Yes, we can use either addition or multiplication. In addition, we can do it like this. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. In multiplication, it looks like this. 5 times 3 equals 15, or 3 times 5 equals 15, where 15 is the product, and 3 and 5 are the factors. But what are these so-called factors? Factors in mathematics are the numbers that are being multiplied. Let us learn about this further by studying some figures. Take a look at these. How many rows of toy cars do you see? Yes, just one row. How many toy cars are there in a row? 15 indeed! How did you come up with 15? Did you multiply? Perfect! Therefore, 1 times 15 equals 15. In this multiplication sentence, what are the factors? Very good! 1 and 15. What is the product? Of course, 15. Now, take a look at this picture. How many rows do you see? Yes, there are three. How many toy cars in each row? You're right! Five! Therefore, three times five equals fifteen. What are the factors? Correct! Three and five. What is the product? Perfect! It is 15. 
in this instance, we can say that 15 has several factors. Based on the examples given, these are 1, 3, and 5. Can you think of other factors of 15? Are there any other factors of 15? No. 15 has no other factor than 1, 3, and 5. Moving on, let us discover the factors of some other numbers. Pick out the factors of the given number. Let's try 7. What could be the factors of 7? Could it be 1, 3, or 7? Did you answer 1 and 7? You're right! Now, let us find the factors of 9. Did you answer 1, 3, and 9? Brilliant! Lastly, let us find the factors of 10. If your answer is 1, 2, 5, and 10, you're absolutely right! Remember that in a multiplication sentence, the numbers that are multiplied are called factors, and the result is called a product. Now, let us assess what we have just learned. All you have to do is to supply the missing factors in the square. Are you ready? Then, let's start! This time, let us check if your answers are correct or not. For number 1, the given number is 12. The missing factors are 2 and 4. Did we have the same answer? Good job! For number 2, the given number is 14. The missing factor is 7. Did you get it right? Fantastic! And for number 3, the given number is 28. The missing factors are 7 and 14. Are these your answers? Sensational! Did you get all the items right? Yay! Outstanding! I presume that you have absorbed the ideas that we have discussed and so enhance your knowledge about factors by answering the remaining activities in your module. That ends our lesson for today. This is teacher Prolin Vera in Gilio y Gloria of Tapia Elementary School Monte Vista District saying Dito sa TV Escuela sa pag-aaral sama-sama bye-bye